August 27, 1883, a day unlike any other was about to unfold. One of the world's most fearsome natural disasters awakened, ready to rewrite our understanding of the terrifying power hidden beneath the Earth's crust. The peaceful facade of an island was about to be shattered, the skies were about to turn into a canvas of fiery rage, and our planet was on the brink of shivering from the wrath of its own creation. But what caused this display of raw power? Who witnessed these horrifying events and lived to recount them? How did this catastrophic day impact the world then, and why does it still matter now? We're about to delve back in time, deconstruct the events, and step into the shoes of those who experienced them firsthand. Prepare yourself for a journey into one of nature's most dramatic performances. Today, on a day like this, the eruption of Krakatoa. Before we delve into the ferocious event that was Krakatoa's eruption, it's vital to set our stage. So, where is Krakatoa anyway? Hidden in the tropical waters of Southeast Asia, between the Indonesian islands of Java and Sumatra to be precise, lies this volcanic island that was once so peaceful and serene. Krakatoa, or Krakatau, as known locally, isn't a single landmass, but an archipelago of multiple islands, the namesake being just one of four. This area was a part of the Dutch East Indies during the late 19th century, and was widely known for its vibrant natural beauty and lucrative spice trade. Life during this period was predominantly rural, with agriculture and fishing as primary occupations. The culture was infused with various ethnic identities, traditions, and languages due to the diversity of the archipelago's inhabitants. But on a seemingly ordinary day in August 1883, the tranquility of daily life was going to be uprooted. Beneath the emerald waters and luscious tropical foliage, a monstrous force was bubbling in the Earth's crust, waiting for its epical moment. As the dawn broke on August 27th, all seemed calm. But beneath the serene blue waters surrounding Krakatoa, the Earth had started to groan and rumble. By mid-morning, the tension had escalated into a full-blown volcanic tantrum, a catastrophic eruption that was to be remembered for centuries to come. It began with dark smoke spewing up into the sky and culminated in an unprecedented explosion that makes most modern nuclear detonations look timid in comparison. It felt as if the planet was trying to vent its pent-up fury for everyone to see. The scale of cataclysm was so intense that it was felt not just across the Sunda Strait or Indonesian archipelago, but around the entire world. The colossal influx of energy into the atmosphere created atmospheric shockwaves that traveled around the globe seven times over. Yes, you heard it right, seven times around our Earth. While we're at it, imagine being a ship off the coast that unfortunate day. Think about looking towards what was once a scenic island silhouette and seeing a mushroom cloud of smoke, fire, ash, and pumice towering 20 miles into the sky, dwarfing your entire understanding of power and scale. Now imagine hearing that deathly roar, a sound so loud it would get etched into your very being, a report so deafening that it holds the record for being heard over 3,000 miles away, equivalent to hearing a sound from Ireland while standing in New York City. That, dear friends, was the horrifying orchestration of nature on August 27th. In the immediate wake of the Krakatoa eruption, the signs of devastation were unwaveringly clear. Locally, nothing remained of the once bustling island but a fragmented shell of its former self, a chilling void where life once thrived. An estimated 36,000 people lost their lives, and countless others were forever scarred by the horrifying event they'd survived. Radiating outwards from this epicenter of chaos, shockwaves traveled at an astonishing pace. Even on the opposite side of the world, they registered on barometers, a testament to the sheer magnitude of Krakatoa's explosive farewell. But the repercussions extended well beyond these initial tremors. The years of climate change that followed turned this singular event into a slow-burning global catastrophe. An unfathomable amount of volcanic ash was expelled into Earth's atmosphere, obscuring sunlight and casting an eerie twilight down onto our planet. Majestic sunsets tinged with fiery reds and oranges unveiled Krakatoa's far-reaching influence. For years following the eruption, global temperatures dipped and weather patterns twisted unpredictably. Crops suffered under unfamiliar temperatures and unseasonal rains, sparking food shortages in certain areas. Krakatoa's eruption was more than just an isolated incident. It was a turning point that brought to light our inherent vulnerability in the face of Earth's untrammeled forces. Krakatoa didn't merely change its own landscape, it reshaped our world at large. As we step back from the cataclysmic events of this day, we're left standing in the wake of its profound impact. The events of Krakatoa were not just a historical spectacle, 
but indeed a pivotal education on the majestic power and volatile temperament nature often hides beneath its serene outward appearance. What this fateful day taught us, and continues to teach generations across centuries, is that our understanding of volcanology was nothing short of naive before Krakatoa unveiled its fury. It prompted a dramatic evolution in the scientific community, pushing us to question, study, and revisit everything we knew about volcanic activities and their potential influence on the world. But beyond geology, Krakatoa's eruption signaled an awakening in our comprehension of climate science. Its daunting after-effects echoed across years and altered weather patterns significantly, reminding us that nature operates on a scale far grander than we used to believe. If anything, this tragic day serves as a testament to humanity's insignificance in the face of nature's awesome magnificence, reminding us of our duty to respect its strength, study its patterns, and perhaps most importantly, learn from its lessons. Because when we look back at Krakatoa on this very day, we do not just recount a disaster, we remember a turning point in our understanding of the world itself. Now that we've taken this riveting journey together, I'd like to hear from you. Do you know of other colossal volcanic eruptions? Or perhaps you are already aware of Krakatoa's earth-shattering impact on our global climate. Share your thoughts and knowledge in the comments. So, August 27th, a day like this, but in 1883, witnessed the eruption that rewrote our understanding of the power hidden beneath our planet's crust, marked this day forever in history, and left imprints that still affect our world now. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this journey through time and want to uncover more historical moments, don't forget to hit subscribe and tick that little bell icon so you never miss an episode. Give us a like if you enjoyed today's topic, and please share it with other history enthusiasts. Stay curious, and I'll see you next time for another story that happened on a day like this.